morning, guys. Welcome to the first day of my week in my life vlog, my second one. Um, it's Thursday. I'm starting this on Thursday just because there's a lot going on sort of like this weekend. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day and Tuesday is Chris's birthday. So I wanted to vlog so I can capture all those really fun moments. But today's my off day and I have a lot to do. I'm gonna stop home because I have some burrata cheese that I don't wanna leave sitting in my car while I'm shopping in Jersey. All right guys, so I am done shopping. I basically went to Best Buy for the sound bar. I got it. Um, it was also on sale for $80 off, so I got it for $200, which is pretty cool. I drove up to the promenade, and I went to stop by Paper Source because I love cutesy stationery stores. Sorry, there's a guy looking at me. I really adore them over like Hallmark or um, Target. Target has a really cute like stationery department, but it's nothing like Paper Source or Occasionette. And normally I would walk to Occasionette over by me back in Philly, but it is so disgusting out. I figured while I'm driving, let me just go up to Paper Source. So, picked it up. I love their branding. It's so cute. Actually, Chris has a paper source bag in the back of the car because he bought me something um, and left the evidence in the car. So, I know he went there, but I picked up wrapping paper so I can wrap up or attempt to wrap up the sound bar, which I don't even know how I'm going to get it into the house since... I don't know if my wingspan is big enough to carry it. It may not be heavy, but it's just me being able to carry it all by myself. And also hopefully find parking because it's so disgusting out. Success, guys. I was able to bring in the sound bar all by myself. I currently have it just sitting on my table because I don't know where I'm going to hide this thing. I know you're hungry, buds. I know. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to hide it. We have an extra bedroom. Well, we have two, but we have one that he never goes into. So I'm hoping I can bring it upstairs and just hide it there. But our steps are pretty narrow. Hugo's tail. Hi, bud. What is it? Say hi to the vlog. Say hi. I know you're hungry. He's hungry. It's his lunch time. So am I. I'm starving. My lunch. I'm about to devour that. I think I'm going to have some yogurt after this but i'm going to sit back relax for a bit and watch some amazon prime here it is the all or nothing um i'm going to wrap up chris's present i have his or our sound bar still upstairs i need to wrap it but i'm like debating if i should wrap it now or if i should wait until later because his birthday isn't until tuesday but i'm gonna do his valentine stuff right now so, yeah, this is a shirt, the Patagonia shirt. I hope he likes it. I think it's pretty cool and just laid back. I mean, it's a basic Patagonia shirt, but um, I'm going to take off your purse tag. Do you guys still take purse tags off? I do, I don't know. It'll look weird if I don't. Fill this guy up. And then I have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. That's going in his little bag. These are the things falling. The bags I bought. I think I showed you guys when I was in the car. So I'm just going to stuff it in here. Do I have tissue paper? I don't know if I have tissue paper, but it's fine. He went in here. Hard. It's his birthday. I will write his card out in a second. I 
I just noticed this. But look at the back of this card. It has the freaking teapot. This way. The teapot that Jim gave Pam when they did the white elephant. Like her pen holder, I guess, reception. And then Dundee's. A Dundee award. How cute is this? I hope he likes it. Look at that foam. It is so ready to go and it smells amazing. I love the smell of dough and yeast. Is that weird? I'm not gonna lie, I've had better pizza dough than this. It's not super smooth, but it'll be fine. So I'm gonna wrap it up in some plastic wrap and let it rise for about 45 minutes. <laughs> so I could not contain my excitement and I gave Chris his birthday gift already and I'm very excited. I think you like it. Look, little Hugo. It's a sound bar. It is a sound bar. We've been really, oh, Hugo. We've really been needing a sound bar because we have these speakers. We have these little speakers, which I think have gone and died on us. So <laughs> we're excited for the sound bar. He was excited too because he has a box. He loves boxes. Box. So guys, I'm so excited. What are you doing, Hugo? He loves boxes. Oh my God, Chris, look at him. Be careful because that has like your. Mm. <laughs> You're good, lad. So we're starting to set up the sandbar, sorta. But I also cooked some eggs because Chris is hungry and he has soccer. But I'm also gonna make some pizza. You're going to get through this. It'll take time. Hello. But I'll give you Hello. as much time as you need, and I know. It is Friday and it is Valentine's Day. So, a quick little update. Um, I don't know where I left off last night. I don't think I filmed anything past me eating my pizza for dinner. But Chris had soccer, so we went to his soccer game. And because it was so late, we just came home and pretty much ate and fell asleep. But this morning, um, I gave Chris his Valentine's Day present because I knew he would want to use the exfoliate cleanser. So he was very psyched about that and he ended up really loving the Patagonia shirt. So that's really great. And last night, I gave him the sound bar because I honestly could not control my excitement when he got home. I was like, Okay, I can give you this present now or I can wait until your birthday because it's gonna be a really busy night on the day of his birthday since he has work and then we go to the Flyers game right after. Um, I figured I would just give him the sound bar now. So we hooked it all up and it looks so nice. We still need to get like a wire concealer for um, the wires we have going on but it looks so much nicer. I just need to clean out this little middle compartment here because it was hidden with the speakers, but now you can see like my old phone, all of like our different hard drives and all that good stuff. So in terms of my plans for today, I need to jump in the shower because my hair looks so disgusting and insane. Um, but I'm going to finish my coffee. I just came back from dropping Chris off at work and I also went to Sprouts because I needed to buy more basil pesto and burrata cheese for the second pizza I'm making tonight since I always have leftover dough. I was a self tan and my hands got a little bit weird because I was still cooking <laughs> and needing to wash my hands. So the self tanner got a little bit weird in my hands, but I really miss self tanning. I do. I used my cola, um, self tanning mousse 
that I always use and I really adore that. I put it in my January favorites video because it gives you such a natural looking tan without it being way too much and like too orange or anything. So I loved using it again last night um, and I'm definitely going to keep up with it if I don't get lazy because I prefer being tan over being Great, so I'm eating some breakfast finally. It's only 11.30, um, but I have yogurt in here with some chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, blueberries, blackberries, and granola. Then I have two slices of toast. This bread is called Seed Sational from Sprouts, and it's so amazing. So I toasted that with some butter and some raspberry jam. I'm going to devour this because I'm starving and also drink a ton of water because I really, really need water. <laughs> I don't drink enough. So I'm gonna go and eat all of this delicious food. guys so I'm heading off to work I haven't really done much since I last updated you guys I made some pizza or I, I should say I prepped it for tonight so then that way all I have to do is throw on the cheese and we're ready to eat our Valentine's Day dinner but I'm um, a little out for the day before I head into work this shirt that I'm wearing is actually thrifted and it's from shop room vintage room shop vintage um, this little blazer is from H&M I got on sale for like $15 a few years back. My jeans are from Madewell. They're the classic straight jeans, I believe. And the shoes I'm wearing are my Cole Haan Chelsea boots. But um, yeah, not much that's been going on tonight. It's not super exciting, but hopefully tonight I can vlog a little bit more um, what we are doing tonight for our little Valentine's Day dinner, which is also gonna be a stay in since I am working, but it's still gonna be a good night and I will see you guys later. bad at vlogging this time around but a little update so Friday night on Valentine's Day we watched Jojo Rabbit which was really good and the previous week we watched 1917 so it was kind of fun to watch like two more movies like back to back but Jojo Rabbit is completely different but if you haven't seen it yet, it's Rabbit's No! It's no, it's it wasn't Rabbit. Good. It, wasn't good. it was Jojo no. Rabbit? No. I mean, you like 1917 more. But it's also. Here you go. <laughs> it's also two completely different genres. One's like a one shot film about the war itself. And then Jojo Rabbit's about a little boy and his mom. Yeah. And a little girl. So they're similar but different. I still recommend watching both. It's almost a price. Definitely watch Jojo Rabbit. 
Um, and then Saturday was kind of a messy day because we, um, we're dealing with a mess in our basement from the hot water heater. So I did not vlog anything, but now it is Sunday and we're heading back to Jersey. Um, we take Hugo back to Jersey with us. And normally he has his harness as a leash, but I just realized I forgot those things. Um, but he has his little carrier and he just sits in it. And he's a very good boy. Oh, I, I know. Um, so we're gonna head back to Jersey and have a little birthday celebration for Chris with his parents today. But first, Whole Foods, because you always need a meat and cheese board at a good party. That's a staple. Hi, <laughs> Bee. Hi. Uh, so, we're going to go and do these things, and I will see you guys later. Guys, so we just did a little run. It felt really good. I haven't been out running outside in a very long time so I had injured my IT band when I was changing for the broad street run. So I haven't been running. Last time I ran was Orange Ferry on a treadmill. So running on a trail outside is much different. <laughs> but it felt really good. Chris did really good. I mean Chris plays soccer every single week, so he's used to running. And he definitely um, outran me today. So that's fine. She did great. I did great. Thank you. Right, so I'm a tiny bit flushed right now because I have had a glass of wine and a Bloody Mary. I love Bloody Marys. Chris made a really, really good one. So I'm a bit flushed because I didn't take a Pepsi and the Asian glow is very real. But I want to show you guys my nails. So I never ever paint my nails. I used to a very long time ago when I was in like elementary school. And every now and then when I'm going to a wedding, I will go to the salon and get gel nails. But these are from Dashing Diva and they're like gel stickers. So you just stick them on your nail, file off the extra access, excess. And they're so easy to apply and they look so good. So I think this is called In The Blush or something this set. And I did like a little bit of like a mix match. But I don't know. I just wanna show you guys that because I think it's really cool. And I'll probably insert a photo because I have to do an Instagram post for them. I am working with them. Um, but it's, it's such a cool concept. But right now I'm just gonna have some water because my face is so red. Um, and I will probably update you guys later it's a very chill day whenever we go back to new jersey it's just such like a vacation for us to get out of the city to see trees and grass it's such a nice little vacation and we get to see harper who is chris's mini australian shepherd who is so 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 sweet um and unfortunately we can't keep her in philly because her social anxiety is overwhelming for her um yeah, like I said, it's just gonna be a super chill day. Chris's parents are cooking up quite a dinner tonight. So I might film a little bit of that. And Chris's mom also made a cake for Chris. So I'm very excited to celebrate Chris's birthday round one. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna celebrate his birthday on the actual day. So I'll see you guys later. Let's see. Oh, you're getting photos. Yeah, it's just getting a little video. Listen. My arms are way too short. <laughs> you can grab a plate. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like mixing. Beautiful. Oh, here it is. Are these the ones that don't matter? Yeah. No, just pull them out. Oh. Okay. Happy wish comes true, Chris. Wow. How's a birthday cake? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Monday. So this is the first time I'm like sitting down today since it's been pretty busy. Um, so I thought why not 
pop on the camera while I am putting some makeup on. So we came back to Philly this morning. Chris has work, but I'm off all day. So I am just going to shoot some pictures. Um, the plumber is coming today to evaluate and give us a quote for the um, hot water heater. And I took a shower today in freezing cold water, but it's fine. So sorry if this vlog has just kind of been all over the place. It's been a pretty like, messy weekend with our hot water heater breaking and whenever we go back to Jersey, it's such a treat for us. And we just had a really good time yesterday. It was just super relaxing. And so I read in like vlog a lot just because I wanted to use that time to spend quality time with Chris and his parents and to celebrate his birthday. All in all, yesterday was a gorgeous day. The weather was beautiful, it was sunny and pretty warm. So Chris and I, we took a run with Harper and that was really nice. And Chris and I did a little walk um, last night during sunset, sort of golden hour. Um, and we're just kind of chatting and talking about how it's February, but it's like in the 50s and we've had no snow so far. Like the little bit of snow we have had, it's been like flurries and it sticks for maybe like five minutes and then it just disappears. We just had a lot of rain this winter. It makes me kind of sad because I do miss the snow. I miss looking at my window and seeing you know, white streets, white pavements. But at the same time, I do love the warm weather, so I can't complain a whole, whole bunch. Um, but I definitely do love how it's been staying, you know, lighter out for longer. And Chris and I can take little walks. All right, guys, I haven't really updated you guys since getting ready and putting on my makeup. But the um, Cedo Labs like faux freckles turned out so amazing. So I have them on right now. Take my sunglasses off so you can see them a bit better. They look so good and so natural and they're super, super easy to use. I posted about them on my Instagram story and I'm very obsessed with them. I have the shade number three, which I believe is their darkest. Um, I don't know if they have like color names. I just know it's shade number three. But I'm currently sitting in the car because I have to pick Chris up from work. He's leaving early for a doctor's appointment with his endocrinologist because, well, type 1 diabetic life, many doctor's appointments. Um, so we're going to go do that. I think I'm going to come with him. I normally come to his doctor's appointments. So I think I'm going to join him. And after that, we don't have many plans. Um, we... I might try to convince him to go to a park or something or do something kind of outdoorsy because it's really beautiful out. I think it's like 54 degrees and I mean, I'm currently in Center City and everyone is out. I know it's also President's Day, so many kids are out as well and families, um, but it's just such a gorgeous day and I want to take advantage of the weather. It is Tuesday, AKA Chris's 27th birthday. Um, we had a very nice, slow, easy morning. I made some oatmeal with pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and berries, which we devoured. Um, and then I dropped them off at work, our normal morning routine. And I also stopped at Target because I needed to pick up like paper towels. I um, also picked up this little, so he was on me, so it's a little bit hard. Um, I picked up this DIY banner letter kit. Um, I made a banner for like our Friendsgiving out of felt, which I picked up at EC Moore, but the EC Moore 
in Philly's closing. Um, so I figured they wouldn't have any felt because they've been closing for the past two to three months. So um, I just went with this little banner. I know it's glittery and gold, which isn't really Chris's thing, but I'm just gonna spell out happy birthday, I think. Um, and then I have a little letter board that is hanging up on our wall, which I think I'm gonna change to some cheeky message about being 27 or something, I don't know. Because the Target I went to is the one on Chestnut and the same little complex, they have a PetSmart. So I stopped by there because I needed to pick up more food for Hugo. And of course, while I'm there, I had to look at the cats that are up for adoption. So we will see where the day leads me. Um, but as of right now, I'm just going to relax, watch a little bit of the office, and fold all of our laundry. Hey guys, so I haven't updated in a while because it hasn't been a very um, interesting day, but I'm currently getting ready to leave the house and meet up with Chris um, and get a small bite to eat. So I'm trying to like find the remote to turn off the volume so you don't hear the office playing in the background. But yeah, I have to rush because um, I have to meet Chris around like 5.45 so we can grab a bite to eat before we head over to Wells Fargo Center. So yeah, I'm in a bit of a rush, but I have my full flyers attire on and I'm bringing Chris's jersey and all that fun stuff. Oh, before you go, I have to show you this. So I hung a little happy birthday banner and we don't have as many Polaroid pictures as I would like, but the ones of us, I did hang up. And I did finally changed my Christmas sign to this little guy. Um, but yeah, I gonna surprise Chris with this little thing. I think he'll like it. It's something super simple and super easy, but again, just a simple gesture. back for the Flyers game. <laughs> it was 5-1 and that was the first Flyers game I went to when we actually won. So it was pretty cool. It was a good game. It's a great game. Yeah. Five Happy one. birthday. Thank you. Have a good one. It's very good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. The best birthday gift ever. <laughs> Love ya. Love you too.